Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Scratch Nagel EV3 tutorial with touch sensor with motors. So we have opened up Scratch, and now, if you haven't watched the last tutorial about motors, um, please do watch it, and let's get started with the touch sensor, and let's see if we can put it in use with motors. So the touch sensor is a sensor that detects when I touch it, when it's pressed or released, and it can do you can do all sorts of stuff with this. But in Scratch, what um, to find the touch sensor when button one press and this is your port of whatever the touch sensor is connected to so in my case it is one so when button one pressed and then we are we are just going to do something simple go into nooks and this will get the sprite to say touch sensor pressed and let's see if this works yes it does okay so now let's see if we can use it into some motors and get, let's get the hammer going. So we're gonna turn. Not we're gonna do 0.5 seconds and 0.5 seconds and let's execute. Yes. Okay. And now with that knowledge, we are going to use this robot. To shoot a target with a remote control. So first of all, I need to change the hammer into the thing to shoot the balls. So bear with me. There we go. Um, so um, this thing is still motor A. So if we turn motor A for 1.5 seconds in this direction, it shall shoot one ball. So that worked. It shot one ball there. Okay, we have two balls left. So let's see if we can make a target for this to shoot. I think a word of auto. So let's just put this here. And I'm going to use this facing the other direction. So we're going to have to control it using the keyboard to turn, face the target, and shoot it down. So we've already got the touch sensor finished. Now we've got went up arrow, went down arrow, went left arrow, went right arrow. So let's just get this done first. And to turn a motor, you, you will go into Nego EV3 and... In this case, I'm going to use motor B. It's going to turn this way, which means turn right, motor B. And this will turn left for a tracker, in my case. Yep, it's going to turn right. It's going to turn left. And we got not point, we're going to put not point 0.4 seconds. And then I'm going to go up and down. I'm going to get our messages. And then we're going to assign some motors for each message. So we got forward and we got backwards, I enabled it with a comment so we know. Now we are just going to execute the program. It is turning, I want it in position to shoot the bottle. 
and I'm gonna aim and fire. There we go. One shot at the ball though. Now if I move the ball though, I'm gonna move the ball though over there and let's see how well this thing c can do. Aim, fire. There we go. Off we village, a shot. So that's actually going to be it for this tutorial. We learnt about the touch sensor and we learnt how we can use it to our advantage with motors to shoot at a target as well as controlling it on our keyboard. So leave a like on this ep and leave a like on this tutorial if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.